All right, well, I have a very unpopular message to give here. And that's, if you abuse a right, and you keep abusing that right, it will eventually be taken away. This is going to affect everyone negatively. People are trying to somehow, somehow put the blame of the censorship that's going on. They're putting the blame on the left instead of putting the blame on the people who have been abusing your rights, if you could call them rights, on uh, private platforms. You don't call out the ones who are being really mean and kind of bullying towards those who have no power at all. You don't call out the channels that encourage, maybe not directly encourage, but the type of content that they make encourages people to dogpile on anyone that they've, uh, you know, could be someone with 20 subscribers or whatever, 20 followers, and you're going to just dogpile this person with all this shit, and there's nothing they can do about it. You, you never called out the people that, that make the kind of videos that, that encourage that kind of thing. You don't call out the videos that are the reason why a lot of this demonetization stuff has been happening in the first place. The really racist videos and streams, I mean, they're, they're pretty blatant. Blatant alt-right. The, the, the bad side of the alt-right. Instead of, instead of calling that out, you egg it on. Oh no, we're going to test our freedom of speech. We're going to test it even some more. Bring it to the most extreme. This can't go bad, can it? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's going wrong. It's, it's going to affect everyone on this platform. It's going to affect everyone on all of these platforms. And no, it's, it's not a good thing that this is happening. But again, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you abuse a right, it's eventually going to be taken away. And that's what's been happening here. And yes, you know, the, the groups that, if you look at, at the content, the groups that have been the most involved in the bullying has been the right. Uh, when it comes to online, whether or not that's how it reflects at a college campus or not, it, it doesn't make any difference. How it reflects online, how it reflects on these platforms, it is those that are right-tilting who are the most often having that bullying kind of behavior. And you're the ones who are egging it on, and you're the ones who are egging on the these racist, bigoted discussions. You're just egging it on. Now, should this be a platform where people can have those types of discussions? It would be nice if it was possible without it turning into a shit fest. But do we really need to consider racial segregation? Is that what we should really be considering? We should be considering making this a, a place for just for white people? That's we, we should consider those types of views. Oh, well, we need to pound them out again and, and really figure out what's wrong with them. We do. We, we need to do that again. How long will we have to do this? How long do we need to give these people a platform? The Daily Wire, I think that's the name of it anyway. The Daily Wire, it's a conservative uh, channel, and I think they have a website of, as well. And uh, their reaction to uh, the pedophile priests... One guy on there is saying, well, we should, uh, we should ban gay people from the church. That'll take care of it. How? What the, what the fuck? So that's another person equating gay with pedophilia. And then what is his name? Andrew Clavin, or however you pronounce his name. He's saying, oh, well, oh, well, well it, it doesn't really matter if, if Trump uh, said the N-word. Because the N-word isn't really as bad as, as we, we, we really... I think uh, let's let's take George Carlin for instance. Let's like take some of yeah, and trying to see, use George Carlin's arguments to somehow make the N word into something okay. Even though George Carlin never, to my knowledge, never said the N word was okay. And you wonder why it's conservatives that seem to be getting censored more. Whichever, whatever group of people. Whichever one thinks it's okay to bully those with no power who are struggling, 
that's going to be the, the largest group that's going to be targeted in this censorship that's going on. Yeah, those of you that think it's cool to bully those with no power, you're going to be the first. I think it's sad that we're even at this point, that this stuff is happening at all, that, that we're, we're even having to censor this stuff. Well, no, they don't, they don't have to censor. They, at this point, they do. Your rights have been abused for way too long, and now everyone is going to pay the price, including myself. We're all going to pay the price. Maybe you'll respond by putting even more unsavory characters up on a pedestal because my freedom of speech. Go ahead. And those like myself will just sit here and watch in awe as, as people seem to have no clue as to why this is happening. It kind of boggles my mind that some people have no clue as to why this is happening. And somehow you'll blame the left for it. It's the left's fault.